Alongside the Master Sword, the Bow of Light is considered one of the most powerful weapons in all of Hyrule, capable of shooting arrows made of pure light that can smite evil with a single hit. This secret bow has the ability to transform regular arrows into light arrows if they are charged for long enough, though light arrows can be obtained separately and used by regular bows as seen in Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask and the Wind Waker. The first time the Bow of Light is seen in Hyrule is in a Minish Cup. After fusing Kingstones with Strato in Harold Castle Town, King finds a portal in his house leading to the Cloud Tops, where he finds Gregal, a member of the Wind Tribe plagued by an evil spirit who is slowly draining his life. After getting rid of the ghost, Gregal rewards the young hero with the Bow of Light. However, if Link were to reach the Cloud Tops by regular means, he would be informed that Gregal has passed away, preventing Link from ever obtaining the Bow of Light. During the final confrontation against Ganondorf in Twilight Princess, Midna teleports Link and Zelda outside of Hyrule Castle in order to use the Fused Shadow to destroy him. However, Ganondorf comes out on top and charges towards Link and Zelda atop his Dark Stallion. Zelda quickly summons the Four Spirits of Light, who teleports them out of danger and hand the Princess the Bow of Light to help the hero defeat the Dark Lord. Riding atop Epona with the hero at her side, Zelda used the Bow of Light to stun Ganondorf long enough for Link to strike him with the Master Sword and knock him off his horse, leading to a one-on-one -on -one duel where Link would come out victorious. Long ago, before the events of Spirit Tracks, there was a war between the Spirits of Good and the Demon King Malados. During this war, the Spirits of Good used the Bow of Light against Malados, and being unable to kill the demon, imprisoned him deep underground using the spirit tracks as shackles and the tower of spirits serving as their lock. The Bow of Light would come to rest within the Sun Temple until Link obtained it to defeat Malados. During the battle within the Dark Realm, Link used the Bow of Light to shoot Malados in order to free Zelda's body from his demonic grasp, allowing Zelda to once again claim her stolen body. The Demon King then took over the body of his servant Cole, and with Link at her side, Zelda weakened Malados using the bow, allowing Link to deal the final blow by plunging the Lokomo sword into his skull. Amidst the battle within Loro Castle in A Link Between Worlds, Yuga Ganon merges into a wall, becoming completely invulnerable to Link's attacks. It is in that precise moment that Zelda, trapped in a painting by Yuga, bestows Link with a bow of light, which he can use to strike Ganon while merging to a wall forcing his foe to emerge from the wall, allowing Link to deal his final blow. The last time we see the Bow of Light is in the decisive battle against Dark Beast Ganon in Breath of the Wild. After dispatching Calamity Ganon in Hyrule Castle, Ganon's malice concentrated into the pure embodiment of hatred and malice. It was then that Zelda hadn't linked the Bow of Light, which he would use to shoot the weak spots created by Zelda on Ganon's body eventually revealing the very core of Ganon's being in the form of a large eye on his forehead, which Link strikes to obliterate his physical form, freeing Zelda from Ganon's grasp and allowing the princess to finally destroy him. And that was the Bow of Light Explained. If you liked this video, please leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, if you haven't already, please consider following me on Twitter and Instagram at Zeldolo86. This has been Zeldolo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.